Silly Susan, I'm playing more Nova Drift. My, start us out with a champion version, eh? What do we want today? Just did a torrent. Recently did a railgun. Pulse, maybe. Flak. We've tried Singular Strike Flak. Let's see if we can actually make it work. Halo for more burn damage, perhaps. Siphon. Let's try a Halo. Going a little too fast here. So let's get Firefly. <laughs> Do I want to go assault? Battery would seem to be contrary to the spirit of the exercise. We did recently do assault. Could do firefly. Pairs in with burn modifiers, I suppose. And there already is magnitude, so. Yes, we'll go with it. Not as happy with these Yeah, not really happy with these choices either. I guess, yeah, velocity's fine. Extra range. Tempting, but I think I just go snipe here. Calibration. If I go charge shot, calibration will be good. And I think I might want Charge Shot to really make this work. Cinder Strike. Sure, why not? Need to be careful. I'm resetting my shield cooldown by taking all this damage. I do like to have my shields back up. I'll take the candescence, I already have so much burn related stuff going on. Does make sense. I'll take the whole strength. We need to get down to Juggernaut for Singular Strike to be unlocked. Going to reload, and there's the juggernaut. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And I need to stop doing that. My tone sometimes is too conversational, which is not bad of itself, but I do need to remember microphone. You cannot do certain things with a microphone that you can do in casual conversation. Alright, so now we have everything to get the singular strike other than the actual singular strike. Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Last radius, eh? Rupture would be nice here. Mm 
No solar heart just yet. Maybe later. Could get concentrated blast. A little extra blast damage. If less blast range. I think with singular strike we won't the extra damage. Could be wrong, fully admit. Alright, we just need to burn you to death. Nothing serious. We get that. Yes, just barely. But barely still counts. this damage a bit and let the burn do a nice bit of the work. I can now have larger blast radius. Why not? Antimatter rounds. Actually tempting. Uh, I think I want the armor more. At least for now. An ally specialization going for an ally is also tempting. I do enjoy my constructs. I think anyone who's watched my videos more than realizes that, considering how often I use them. But let's let's try to focus right now on getting this singular strike going. And then we can worry about other things. Uh charge shot it's fine. Good enough that I don't want to use a reroll. And there be the singular strike. I still also like the pulse version of this better in terms of crowd control, but I think, and I might be proven wrong, but I think this may be better against higher health enemies, at least in terms of not having to get close to them. We'll see if I'm mistaken or not. I do enjoy my rupture, but I'm going to get the mastery here. It's rare. And it is pretty powerful. Oh, I was expecting you to be dead. <laughs> my apologies. Pronounced you dead for your time. Take the channeling here. Maybe I actually want the polar inversion here. It will pull the enemies toward me, but the larger blast race may be worthwhile. The larger velocity also helps in terms of making this a more viable build. Oops. Try to stay a little closer than that. And I also am glad that the singularity formed way over there. As far as I'm concerned, that's good. I'll take a scorching wake here. just because I like the burn damage and because I think it's going to help in these sorts of situations whoops where I have to do a lot of maneuvering 
to get into the right position or to escape a singularity or something like that. Please. Free please. Just this once. Uh, da, 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 da. Targeting actually may be good here. But I think I want the corrosion. I do want more to help with crowd control. Dodge quite in time for that one, but it's dead. We're live. Good enough. Yeah, this is when I would like to have more crowd control cap capabilities. I can speak today. Or not. Ooh, the boost is throwing me off. Yeah, I, I, I legitimately wish there were a way to turn off the speed boost. <laughs> it, it does make, for me, it makes it much harder to pilot. Throws off my expectations of what's going to happen and where I'm going to be and where my weapons will be. Still feels early for a quantum decoherence, especially when I have eight rerolls. But I don't particularly like these. I guess regeneration isn't too bad. I guess I can get orbs of discord. I did just say I want more crowd control. Orbs will help. Is it time for anti matter rounds? I think I just want the targeting, truth be told. It's not that big a deal, but it will help me. Hit at a greater distance like that, for example. And that could be important. Uh, targeting to decide which one to hit, so I just went between. I don't blame you. I would do the same thing in your situation, I'm sure. Thank you, Rupture, for helping me out there. No Dying Star. No, that's quite alright. Take the Force Armor, sure. Maelstrom, eh. Absorption, Shield Effect Radius. I do rely on the shields to help a little bit with the enemy munitions, for example. That can be destroyed, at least. Having a larger and more powerful shield. Burn damage. Is pretty nice. Alright, war. Let's see what you got. Everything you normally have. That's good to know. Yeah, please just keep applying that burn damage. 
elsewhere. Well, I guess we can make this work. Sure, we can take a revelation. Don't know what we're going to use it for, but we can take it. Maybe I will take the Dying Star after all towards the end. Probably not, but who knows, it's possible. All regeneration, rate of fire up. Could do shield cooldown. I am rather dependent on my shields for helping. Transmorphication with Revelation, probably not the best idea. That might be a few too many wild mods. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Yeah, just a little closer. Get that burn damage in through the shield. Try not to run right to the enemy though. That is counterproductive. just win of all this, and I think I will. Version, eh? Why not? You mean it pulls the enemy into me? And it makes me more vulnerable to certain attacks? But why didn't you say so before I took it? Keeping me in the dark about an important decision like that. Rather unkind. But it's also fun to see the big explosions. Big explosions everywhere, please. Thank you kindly. <laughs> uh, do I want purification? That's a pretty big hit to our weapon damage. But the extra ignite duration is nice. Not sure it's a good idea. Incendiary Strike implies applies burn damage, but it's based on how much our weapon damage is. Is that greater duration and damage worth it? I don't know if it is. Death Blossom probably is not worthwhile here, but I want to see what it does. Okay, so it does okay damage. It's nothing special, but it's okay. Probably better as a crowd control than anti boss sort of situation, but I 
little bit of charge up really helps the blast rates increase. Maybe I do want that ray to fire up. Absorption, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, that was probably more helpful there than against the champion we fought earlier. I keep forgetting the name of that enemy. And considering how annoying they are, I probably should try to remember what they are. Popcorn machine going strong. All right, Seraph. Rate of fire up or homing strike? Let's try the homing strike. I get two for one there. Didn't quite succeed, but I did some damage at least. Expecting you to go one more round. Let's try to stay away from that damage. I'm kind of glad we took the Scorching Way here, yes. Forbes of Discord are helping out too. No, I did not see that third one. That's what killed me the last time. Of course, last time I had a cat who jumped up on the table to help me. Less than helpful. Truth be told, less than helpful. Still haven't spent my revelation, eh? What about evolutionary niche? More self damage resistance. More burn damage. Don't know if that's the best idea. Let's look for something better, shall we? What about slipstream? 21% more damage is nothing to sneeze at. Alright. I don't usually take Slipstream, but maybe with Firefly it's a it's a good one. Firefly has more thrust, so maybe it can have more correction for going off course everywhere. On the other hand, maybe that greater thrust will just make it harder to control no matter what. We shall see. In any event, this has actually been a fairly successful run. Anytime you can beat Seraph, I consider that a success. If you can get past wave 100, it's a good enough build. Maybe not something gets you a 
two million in the score, but it's it's decent. Of course, what do I know? I've only had one two million score run so far, so <laughs> I may not be the best expert of such. Of course, I don't usually try a high score run anyway. I generally prefer themes over just trying to get as high a score as possible. Some of that is just because I'm not as good at the game as a lot of other people, and some of it is just because that's how I enjoy playing the game, and to me, games are about enjoying how you play them. Not always about maximum optimal behavior. Here's where the reduced friction can hurt me because dodging all these little attacks is annoying. On the other hand, I am happy for the extra damage here. That extra initial attack damage and burn damage is definitely noticeable. Do I want another strike? A 13th projectile isn't going to make that big of a difference, I don't think. Could take the Dying Star. Again, is it going to be that good? Self-damage resistance is natural with Firefly, and I do, of course, have the core shielding. Don't have any masochisms, though. We'll try it. What's the worst that could happen, he says. Take another slipstream, that might be a bit much. Purification, yeah. Let's just burn things. Set the world on fire. Yeah, as long as we don't take too much damage, our shield should recover in time. Yeah, probably not the smartest maneuver I've ever made, but it's it's pretty decent in terms of helping out with the burn damage. Yeah, these enemies are killed quickly enough, but then again, they're not the ones we were worried about. It's these enemies. Those are the ones that we are more concerned with. Haha. <laughs> Could take a rampage with all of these slipstreams. Sure, that would be perfectly fine. Get some pull regeneration going. Here's where I would get that polar inversion, pulling the enemies into me. Not very helpful. Though again, the improved blast radius is nice. I just want all the benefits and none of the downsides. Is that too much to ask? Alright, Scions. What are we going to do with them? Uh, 
Uh, we're not going to take a solar heart here. If anything, we're taking a masochism or a defiance. Yeah, there's a masochism. And there's a rancor as well. That's tempting, but I think we need the masochism. We want that self-damage resistance. Oops. We also do not want to be right in the middle of the enemy lands. That is probably not good. Again. Watch the boost. Watch the thrust difference. Okay, yeah. With the masochism and the Uh, what's the other thing I got? The other thing I got. <laughs> the masochism in it. We are far better right now at surviving Dying Star, at least in terms of our hull. Our shield is still always going to just slowly die. Not much I can do about that. But... It's always nice to not have to worry about just dying as soon as you lose your shield pretty much instantly. We're still being a bit of a pickle when it happens, but... Not quite as horrible. Okay, I'm just going to move her there. Thank you, Rupture. You can get through that shield anytime you want burn damage. Okay, good. The enemy rate of fire is becoming a little alarming at this point. Don't have time to even line up all of my shots before they fire definitely going to be an issue here. We don't want to get rid of our shield, no. No, 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 no. Rate of fire up would be nice. Another masochism. Or a grandeur, huh? Let's take another masochism. Slow down the destruction of our shield here, and maybe, just maybe, we'll be in a decent position, at least when it comes to that. Maybe not the rest, but at least that. That was a little, that was a little iffy. Outrun them, use burn, the burning wake, no, scorching wake. There are too many wakes in this game. I demand you remove three of them. <laughs> There's not that many. But, um, yeah. Use that burn damage. All right. Moderately impressed by the... Field break effect there. Almost makes me wish that I had not banished emergency systems, or at least that tree. Let the popcorn machine pop its popcorn, or in this case, the enemy. Thank you. 
again. Enemy rate of fire is much higher now. Much, much higher. Uh, volatile shields, I guess, makes sense, as does shield durability. Let's get volatile shields, which does also increase our shield maximum a bit. And since we're often breaking our shields anyway, the volatile shields will do a little extra damage at least. Now this is what could kill us, this kind of setup right here. Because this enemy now moves a lot faster, fires more quickly, and we also have to deal with all these other enemies at the same time. It's a bit of a problem. Try to get our shield back up before we do anything else. Ah. Thought I could get by before they had, uh, did that charge attack, but I was mistaken. Rupture is still very nice with those enemies, though. Won't complain about that feature. Zion, eh? We do have to watch out for... Their rate of fire is so high now that they actually can start attacking, even before the Singularity ends. So we have to worry about dodging them and the Singularity at the same time, and that is difficult. Okay, killed them fairly quickly, but still, that's too close for comfort. And unfortunately, one of the nicest things about Dying Star, the ability to destroy those destructible enemy weapons. Your mines, little torpedo things, whatever you call them. Is no longer being quite as effective anymore because the scaling means their health is going up. Which means Dying Star does not kill them anywhere near as fast as it used to. The good news, such as it is, is that we can get some healing off of just setting them on fire. The bad news is we'd really rather have them die before they can do too much damage to us. That would be ideal. And we are... yes, yeah, see how fast this enemy is now? That is a problem for our long-term survival. And it's only going to get worse. Ah, well, we shall see, we shall see. Strange seeing a convoy now, at this high level. Do we finally take antimatter rounds? We can try it. What's the worst that can happen considering <laughs> all the craziness we already have?
should have tried something different there. Oh, just missed that shot too, huh? Well, fine then. If you want to chase me, then just go through my wake if you don't mind. And stay close together so rupture and all that corrosion damage transfers over to you. That would be swell if you would do that for me. Zion again, eh? Alright, we'll try to apply some burn damage to you early on. If it makes a difference. Good thing we're to get in there and kill it quickly. Singularity. Go away, no one likes you. I like convoys though, keep seeing the convoys. Well, we made it to a million score. That's honestly better than I thought we would make it. Especially after to a dying star. I was expecting dying star to be fun, do a little extra damage, but also kill me quickly, so at this point, all of our score and levels is just gravy. Nice to have. Not really counting on it. Actually being there doing thing. Uh, hello again. What are you good for war? Being a nuisance. Especially with these mines he gets. Then they teach you against littering in school. And another war. I know it's not war, but still. <laughs> it's too good a joke to not make. At least for me. going to be annoying, but maybe we can do enough damage. These enemies are going to be even more annoying. I do get behind it a bit. I don't know if we can take a Rancor, it slows us down so much. I think we take the thrusters actually. Deadly Wake maybe. Don't know if we can get down to it in time, but I think that's the more useful thing for us here. I do indeed think that's probably the better thing for us here. I also don't like that our shield did not have time to get back up in that fight. That is a big issue. We need the shield to come up so we can regenerate our hull. If nothing else, not talking about just not taking any other damage from enemies, just dying star damaging us. We need that time with our shield up. And this is what kills us probably, because this is gonna be hard to dodge, yeah. Still, made it to wave 200, 1.1 score, million. Yeah. 
this wave is always a nightmare. <laughs> In any event, I really enjoyed that one. That one went much further than I thought it would, so pleasant surprise with that experiment. As always, I thank you all for stopping by. <laughs>